Hello everyone, this is Claudia from Barbaspar.com and in today's videos I'm going to tackle the problem of what do you do with some stamps that are quite solid and whenever you want to stamp them it looks just like a blob of ink and you don't really know how to use them because the lines are too thick and you cannot color in inside in between so I had that problem with this really nice flower stamps I bought them a while ago they're from Hero Arts and I never used them because of this particular problem so I remembered one technique that I saw some time ago and the way it works is you grab the stretchings or whatever inks you have on hand I think it works with dye inks as well and you just make kind of a rainbow of colors so you think like what kind of colors would my flowers I would like my flowers to be so I put a little bit of Peacock, peacock feathers on one side, some you know, shaded lilac and um, other purples on the sides, lots of yellow, some reds, um, basically all kind of like gradient colors that I would like my flowers to be. And you know, after I did all that, I'm trying to put as much powder as I can to make sure that my I have some clear embossing powder and that it doesn't stick where I don't want it and for that to work I had to heat set it with my heat gun like three times before it worked but I kind of deleted that footage because it takes forever anyway after heat setting it three times testing testing it testing it again it again I'm sure that the embossing powder only sticks to the Versamark ink and I stamped the first the flower on the on the side and now I'm going to put my clear embossing powder and it's important on this part to use clear embossing powder because once you heat set it it will allow the color that you have behind it to show through it so that is kind of the trick the trick is not to hide the color but to let it show through it so I'm going to stamp this flower uh, on a little bit the other part of of the panel repeat put my clear embossing powder on heat set that and then with a bigger flower that is just one flower i'm going to stamp it in the middle and i'm going to have like kind of a flower panel you can use this one i think it works even better like if you have some um leaf stamps like solid leaf stamps uh, i think that will work even even nicer or any type of stamps that have a solid feel to it that have a lot of areas that would be too blocky if you stamp it or it would look quite weirdly like a heart stamp oh that would be nice now that I have the idea hmm a heart stamp um, why didn't I think of that when I <laughs> made this video anyway so um, I had these flowers <laughs> like I was saying so um, making sure that my entire card is is covered with the, these flowers and the only problem with m these cling stamps is apparently they didn't stick very good to my um, big uh, Fiskars uh, stamping block I'm not sure why they usually stick very good to an acrylic block maybe my stamping block was not very clean or something but anyway I'll figure that one out and now to, to the second part of the trick is that you cover up everything else with a color or two and I'm always trying to cover everything else up with blue and the funny part is that whatever is with the clear color it will remain the same the same gradient as before so if I put yellow with red and so on that will show through and everything else around it will be the other color that is usually use a darker color and I tried several inks and the tamil glass and broken china couldn't cover up anything and my faded jeans apparently is dried out so i have to really buy <laughs> a new faded jeans and the only one that was working was chipped sapphire so anyway i used that one you don't really need to use uh, other colors there i mean i used uh forest moss on the um down part just to get some some nice green more darker green and the reason why you don't really need other blues is because even if you use such a dark color um, 
you will still get kind of a gradient because you have so much yellow in there so you still get some nice coloring inside so now I'm going with the uh, 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 baby wipe and I'm cleaning up all those parts where the clear embossing part is and look how beautiful the colors underneath just pop on this panel um, so that is kind of the technique so first you lay any gradient any colors you want clear emboss it and then cover it up with other other stuff and as a last touch I'm just flicking some um, water droplets you know and then picking them up so that the distressing kind of reacts with the water and makes kind of a nice platter effect I was thinking maybe I want to put some stars but then I was like okay that this card is going to have a lot going on on it so it's kind of enough after I made this panel I kind of cut it to size and I think it was four inches by no three seventy five inches by five and then I decided on the base card and the base card I thought oh this nice teal will look so cool and I did the entire card so I adhered the panel you know I put my sentiment with some really nice uh, thick letters um, but in the morning I woke up I saw the card again and I thought okay for those colors the teal doesn't really complement this card because it doesn't let the nice work that I did with the distressing pop up because everything is so blue on the edges and you cannot yeah it doesn't really look nice so what I did in the morning I took the panel out I uh, and I put it on top of a white card base and I used some Simon system with grain paper for that and you will see it in the end of the last picture how much better it looks like um, than with the teal cardstock so I love the teal it's really nice color but not for this card anyway um, this was my small little tip another tip is that if you want to dear something on top of things that you embossed um, even though these uh, tickers have uh, glue on them they will not stick so I used um, glossy accents and once it's dry this will just be really sticky and they won't fall off like if you send it through the mail or something like that so that's another tip I hope you give this technique a try it does take some a, a while I mean it took me maybe half an hour just to make this panel um, and this video is quite sped up so like I said, it works best with some stamps that are really solid and that will allow you to let everything kind of show through the real colors. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this card. Uh, I for sure did. Um, and I got to use some stamps that I never used before because I kind of didn't know how to use them to make them look nice. So that's a bonus for me. Thank you so much for watching, uh, if you want to know more about these cards don't hesitate to put comments um, on this video and um, see you next time with another card, um, also kind of Valentine-y-ish, <laughs> anyway thank you so much.